Thailand is such an interesting and diverse country that it's impossible to show all the highlights in a short film such as this. This is an attempt to give a brief flavour of some of the main attractions of a two-week trip to Thailand. Our journey starts in Bangkok with a visit to two of the famous temples and the Grand Palace. It continues to the River Kwai and then to the north of Thailand to the areas surrounding Chiang Rai and Chiang Mai. Thailand has temples and Buddhas everywhere. Probably the most famous are the temples of the Golden Buddha and the Reclining Buddha in Bangkok. palace is magnificent. The site includes not just one palace but numerous impressive buildings, many covered in gold. The floating market at Damnun Saduak, just outside Bangkok, attracts many visitors as well as locals. The River Kwai, which is actually pronounced Kwai by the Thai people, can be visited in a day trip from Bangkok. Here we had lunch in a floating restaurant which was towed slowly up river and back by a powerful boat. over the River Kwai and 250 miles of railway through the jungle to Burma were built by prisoners of war and labourers between October 1942 and October 1943. The middle sections of the bridge were later bombed by the Americans to block the supply route and were restored after the war by the Japanese as part of the war indemnity. The state railway still runs a passenger service across the bridge. More than 16,000 prisoners of war died building the railway and the war cemetery at Kanchanaburi is immaculately maintained today.
We travelled on the death railway, across the bridge and some 30 miles to the end of the line. From Bangkok, we made a two-day journey by road to the north, travelling past workers harvesting rice and tending vegetables in the fields, and we stopped to look at a primitive mountain village. At the most northerly point, on the banks of the Mekong River, which forms the border with Laos, these children are happy to dress up for photos to earn a few baht from tourists. The hotels where visitors stay are quite luxurious and a far cry from the living conditions experienced by most of the locals. This one was situated in Chiang Rai. Day, we moved on to Chiang Mai and visited some local craft factories, including this one, which produced umbrellas. workers were very talented artists and were paid very little money. This one produced a design on our camera bag in just a few minutes. The 
the design work was then left out in the sun to dry. Next, we visited a silk factory. One of the highlights of the holiday was a visit to an elephant camp near Chiang Mai in the north. There we watched a demonstration of working elephants as well as taking a trek through the jungle on their backs. It was a great experience to see how the elephants and their riders worked together and understood and trusted each other. At the end of the trek, the riders took their elephants for a bath in the river. And finally, our journey took us on a raft ride down the river that flowed through the elephant camp. It's easier, harder than you think, isn't it? <laughs> 